Yeah, they're a, you know they're a really good team. I knew they'd be a good team this year. I think they have a lot of great senior leadership, um, a lot of returners that have you know played a lot of minutes in that system that know it well. Um, they play with a ton of leadership. They've got great guard play with Wiesman and um, and Brianna Lewis is a great post player inside that you know is, has a presence on both ends. And uh, how do you kind of talk to the girls to make sure you carry over the momentum you've built at home now to the road? When have you kind of told them to get ready? You got to put that huge win behind these last huge wins behind you and go play on the road again and start to find a little bit more success there. Yeah, I think it's really important this league, whether you win or you lose, you move on very quickly. Um, this league doesn't allow for anything else. It's two days prep game, two day prep game. Um, you know, we're on you know, now our fourth game of that in a row. So um, I think they understand that. Um, you know, I think, you know, obviously always doing that and understanding it are two different things. But um, if you want to win in this league, you, you have to be able to do that. You have to be able to go on the road and compete and give yourself a chance. And it is the fourth game in 10 days coming up. Do you see any wear and tear on the girls now or – or any, any any sense of them tiring down? Oh, I, I think they're tired. I think everyone's tired, though. So it's, you know, I told them the difference in, you know, finishing, you know, higher or lower in this league is a level of toughness. Whoever's tough enough to handle this league, handle the uh, physicality and the game to game, just being able to turn around and play through fatigue and soreness and all the things that come with playing, you know, playing in this league, you have to do it if you're going to win. And um, I think our staff's been very, very smart about, resting them about getting them you know extra things to try to recover um, a lot of recovery um, things for their body um, and we've rested them quite a bit um, we haven't just pounded them in practice we haven't practiced every day you know we've really tried to um, you know take the mentality that we're going to have some mental practices too and we're going to understand what we're doing then when we do practice we need to be efficient with our time big fourth quarter last night w what does that say about your team right now do you think um, I, I like the mentality that when we get to the fourth, you know, we've been able to play at a high level and string together plays on both ends of the floor, play with more energy and more effort in the fourth when we are fatigued, um, which I think says that we are competitive. You know, we want to win. We understand um, it's the fourth and the game's on the line and, and we got to make plays. This year is obviously a second half team and you can see whenever they go in at halftime they come out and they make a lot of adjustments and they're kind of able to just pick that up very quickly. How refreshing is it for you to be able to have players like you talked about last night um, describing them just as being gamers? You know, our players are smart and I really appreciate that because they, they do adjust. They adjust on their own. They adjust uh, when we coach them. They understand what's happening around them. They understand concepts. Um, you know, Basketball IQ is good. So I think all of those reasons they're able to adjust to other teams and to what they're seeing. You guys obviously able to execute well at home. Is there anything in particular that you do going on the road that's different from preparing for games here at home, knowing that every team in the Big 12 is going to protect their home court the way that you guys are? Do we do anything different to prepare? Um, you know, the only thing we've been doing just to prepare for any environment is just trying to make practice more hostile as far as noise. Um, and communication and that sort of thing. So it has to be better in, in games. And so it's not such of a, an adjustment in games. Um, K-State has a great environment. They'll have, um, it'll be loud. You know, they have good support and, and their marketing department does a great job of just in-game environment. So we'll, we'll need to be ready for that. We've seen it, um, but we're, we're doing a better job of preparing and practice for it. Can you talk about the boost Brittany gave you guys last night as well and maybe hoping to keep that going and carrying on, especially how thin you guys are? Yeah, you know, Britt did a great job, I thought, of rebounding in the first half and keeping us in the ball game when we weren't playing that well. Um, you know, and she was tired. You know, there was times I just could tell she was so tired. And so we've got to do a better job of probably using our bench and resting, keeping her fresh. Um, but she's playing – she's just playing well. She's, you know – Brittany's just the kid that will do anything that her team needs her to do. If that's play, be on the bench, go get a rebound, uh, score a basket, she will do whatever she can do to help her team win, and um, that's her mentality. I know you talked about it after the game last night, but the bench scoring for you guys and how crucial that will be 
uh, going on the road, especially and throughout the conference. Play. Yeah, you know, if we really believe we have multiple people that can score, you know, Laren Brooks can really score it, and she's coming off the bench for us right now and gives us a big spark offensively. Um, obviously, you know, Vaughn Rell say can score. Um, you know, Dio last night giving us ten points and and the rebound she got and just how she pursued the basketball. If she will play like that, it's such an X factor for us, and and we know she can. You know, really proud of her. All right, Coach. I, a lot of the focus this year has been on this team's ability to score the ball. But what it really seems to be that y'all stand out and when y'all win these games is defensive adjustments. You defensive adjust, mm -hmm. adjusted to Oklahoma State well. You packed the paint. Then you came out to Iowa State. They had a great first half, second half, one of 11 from three-point range. What does it say about this team's – you know, they, they have that ability to score. They've kind of proven that. But now they're showing the ability to make those defensive adjustments to win the games. Yeah, and it's crucial, you know, because everyone in this league can score. So you've got to find ways to, to stop people and, and slow them and try to take away what they want to do most. You can't take away everything on teams in this league. There's too many great players that are going to be able to score the basketball. People have multiple, multiple scores. But um, I, think our, I think our staff, my assistants, do a terrific job of, of really – thinking and game planning and looking at how can we um, help them, you know, take some things away. And then our kids have done a great job of following it. You know, we give them all the credit. Players make plays on both ends, and they've carried that over well.